Hi everybody, Paul here. Sometimes a vehicle can have engine hesitation during acceleration when the gas pedal is pushed down. When the engine hesitates, it may seem like the vehicle has lost power or like it's going to stop. It may even have a jerking sensation. This often happens at lower speeds. Depending on what the problem is, you may or may not have a check engine light turn on like you see here on the dashboard. However, it's still a good idea to first check the computer on the vehicle with a diagnostic scanner to see if it shows any stored trouble codes which can help diagnose the problem a lot faster. If you do not have a diagnostic scanner, then take the vehicle to an auto parts store which will normally perform this service for free. Engine hesitation is due to something that's become faulty which either needs to be cleaned, is not receiving the proper voltage or vacuum, or needs to be replaced because it's worn out. Regardless of what's causing the problem, it's usually caused by the engine not getting enough fuel, getting too much air, or misfiring. So let's take a look at all of the different things that can cause engine hesitation during acceleration. First pertains to air intake systems. Number one is a dirty air filter causing air intake restriction which can cause a rich air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty throttle body due to accumulation of carbon, road grime, and other materials interfering with opening and closing the throttle plate causing a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number three is a faulty gasket on the intake manifold or throttle body, which can cause a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Next pertains to electrical systems. Number one is a faulty alternator, which can affect multiple systems, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine, alternator, or battery light. Number two is a faulty battery which can affect multiple systems causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine, alternator, or battery light. Number three is a faulty ground wire or electrical connection to the alternator, battery, or engine control module which can affect multiple systems causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine, alternator, or battery light. Next pertains to emission systems. Number one is a faulty catalytic converter due to a rich air fuel mixture or engine misfire which can cause blockage and restricted airflow causing a check engine light. Number two is a faulty exhaust gas recirculation valve also referred to as an EGR valve which can also be caused by carbon buildup, diaphragm or vacuum leaks causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire and a check engine light. Older EGR valves operate with vacuum while newer ones operate with vacuum electric or strictly electric. Next pertains to engine control module or ECM systems. Number one is a faulty engine control module also referred to as an ECM which can affect multiple systems, cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Next pertains to engine control module or ECM sensor systems. Number one is a faulty camshaft position sensor, also referred to as a CMP sensor, which can cause engine misfire and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty crankshaft position sensor, also referred to as a CKP sensor, which can cause engine misfire and a check engine light. Number three is a faulty engine coolant temperature sensor, also referred to as an ECT sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number four is a faulty intake air temperature sensor, also referred to as an IAT sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number five is a faulty knock sensor, which can cause engine misfire and a check engine light. Number six is a faulty manifold absolute pressure sensor, also referred to as a MAP sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number seven is a faulty mass airflow sensor, also referred to as a MAF sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number eight is a faulty oxygen sensor, also referred to as an O2 sensor, which can cause a rich or lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number nine is a faulty throttle position sensor, also referred to as a TPS, which can also be caused by accumulation of carbon, 
road grime and other materials interfering with opening and closing the throttle plate causing a richer lean air fuel mixture engine misfire and a check engine light next pertains to fuel systems number one is faulty fuel containing water or too high of an ethanol or other substitute used in non-flex fuel vehicles causing engine misfire and a check engine light Number two is a faulty fuel line which can become crimped or flattened from other repairs or improper lifting or jack use, not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number three is a faulty fuel filter becoming dirty and clogged, not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number four is a faulty fuel injector becoming dirty and clogged, developing internal mechanical or electrical issues, not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number five is a faulty fuel pressure regulator not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Number six is a faulty fuel pump not providing enough fuel to the engine, causing a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. Fuel injection pumps are located inside the fuel tank, whereas carbureted fuel pumps are located outside the fuel tank. Number seven is a faulty carburetor typically caused by a clogged idle screw, faulty accelerator pump, float, throttle linkage, or dirty carburetor. Next pertains to all ignition systems, not including diesels. Number one is a faulty spark plug not able to provide enough spark, causing engine misfire and a check engine light. Next pertains to distributorless ignition systems, also referred to as DIS, not including diesels. Number one is a faulty ignition coil, also referred to as a coil on plug, coil per cylinder or coil near plug not able to provide enough voltage to the spark plug causing engine misfire and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty spark plug wire used on coil near plug ignition coils which can cause engine misfire and a check engine light. Next pertains to distributor ignition systems not including diesels. Any one of the following that is faulty will cause engine misfire. Number one is a faulty ignition coil. Number two is a faulty ignition coil wire. Number three is a faulty distributor cap. Number four is a faulty rotor. Number five is faulty breaker points. Number six is a faulty condenser. Number seven is a faulty spark plug wire. Number eight is faulty ignition timing, which will occasionally need to be adjusted due to normal wear of moving parts. Next pertains to timing systems. Number one is a timing chain or timing belt that has slipped or jumped on the drive gears or been incorrectly installed, causing engine misfire and a check engine light. Number two is a faulty variable valve timing solenoid, also referred to as a VVT, which can also be caused by low or dirty engine oil, causing engine misfire and a check engine light. And last pertains to vacuum systems. Number one is a faulty vacuum hose due to being broken, disconnected, or leaking, which can cause a lean air fuel mixture, engine misfire, and a check engine light. If your vehicle hesitates during acceleration, don't wait to diagnose the problem because it's unsafe. It may also become worse and even damage something else. If you can find the problem, fixing it yourself can sometimes be quite easy and can save you a lot of money. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.